Gibson is known worldwide for producing classic models in every major style of fretted instrument. I never heard of it that way, but then I'm not a musician. <laughs> I like that. Including acoustic and electric guitars, of course, mandolins, banjos, all kinds of cool things. Their chairman and CEO is Henry Jeskowitz. Henry, welcome into tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Glad to have you with us. Thank you. Gibson always has a huge presence here at CES and always showing some fun things. And whether you're a musician or not, it's always been an interesting exhibit to go by. So what kinds of things are you showing here at CES this year? Well, our, our big product, uh, which we launched in December, is called the Dark Fire Guitar. The Dark Fire Guitar. Yeah. All right. And it is revolutionary. It is like no guitar ever made. Uh, and it reflects about 15 years of R&D effort on our part. And uh, it, it's just, if you're a guitar player, it's awesome. Now, I think there would be folks listening that say, uh, other than good guitar players, of right. course, that would say, well, how, what can you do differently? And what would take so many years of research to, to make a guitar any different than ones I might have had over the years? How is it different? Well, uh, it has three specific differences. Uh, one is it has our... Uh, robot tuning, uh, second generation uh, product. So this guitar In fact, tunes I think for itself. the first time last year, you were showing the robot tuning, right? We, or, we had robot tuning. Yeah. Uh, this year, it is faster, smaller, and uh, you can actually tune on the fly. So you could actually have different tunings in the same song. Really? It is that fast. And robotically, it's changing the tuning for you as you determine. Huh? You know, one click of a button, and it's somewhere else. And yeah. it's, it's, it's really <laughs> remarkable stuff to see. Uh, the second thing is we've introduced what's called chameleon tone technology. And what, what that is about is basically this guitar can sound like any guitar that's ever been made. Uh, so. Nice. Most guitar players have an arsenal of guitars, and each one has sort of a special sound. This guitar can have all the sounds, and you can access them very easily. So you're not having to change guitars in between every song like a lot of artists do. Maybe they can keep this one guitar, exactly. this one instrument, and simply change it to what they want it to sound like. And you can also design sounds that have never been heard. So you have, like, really a lot of flexibility. It's, it's, it's pretty mind-boggling. I'll bet. Now, here's a question. Is the Dark Fire guitar available yet? It has been shipping in very small quantities since uh, December 15th. This is the first of its kind, and we will only manufacture it once. Uh, we expect the final production to end uh, sometime mid-February, and once we close shop, that's it for this uh, particular model. So truly a special edition. And what is it going to cost then? It is about $3,300 uh, street price. Okay. And so it's a remarkable value, actually. More than your average guitar, but for what it does, especially the robotic tuning, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. It, it's not that much more than a, a standard Les Paul Gibson. Really? Uh, so it's pretty... And, and the third thing it does is it, it comes with a whole package of software and hardware that allows you to integrate the guitar into a computer environment. So let me get, the guitar has a USB port or something? It, uh, <laughs> the guitar does not, <laughs> oh, but, okay. but, but we have a little uh, box that we call a rip box that has a FireWire port. And, uh, you, and so you plug the FireWire port in, and now you have a whole truckload of equipment in software. Sure. Uh, including recording. So really? So it'll, it'll help you with uh, maybe song creation and all sorts of neat stuff. Absolutely. Huh? And it's simple. Unlike a lot of software, this is, uh, you know, as simple as, as plugging into your amplifier. Now, but yet it doesn't sound like it would be a starter's guitar necessarily, right? You should work be. up to something like this, or could you actually take it and take very good care and <laughs> learn more as you go? We have uh, specifically tried to make it really simple so the technology is not what we call non-invasive. It yeah. doesn't get in your way. Uh, so even a beginner would have a lot of fun. In fact, at our booth, we have a lot of kids just sitting down uh, and, and obviously not professionals and, and just having a blast yeah. with, the, with the product. Just jamming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah. what it's all about. Good stuff. Henry, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. Good luck with the, not only this guitar, but all the other cool stuff that you do and show, especially here at CES. Gibson.com, very easy site to remember for Gibson guitar. Yeah. And next time we'll have you come playing a banjo or something. 
Well, I could do the guitar. <laughs> oh, okay. I, could, I could do the guitar. Banjo, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Well, All maybe right. work on it in the meantime. We'll get you next year at least, if not sooner. But we, we wish you well and, and keep making cool things to talk about. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Gibson.com for more info. Swing by into tomorrow.com and we'll link you to all of our guest sites as well as Henry's and everybody else here at CES. Don't go away. Dave Graveline with Into Tomorrow. More to come.